What's going on? I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers back with another review. And today we got the Nike Air Pegasus 83 Omega Flame. Now the Air Pegasus released in 83. This particular model was released back then. And this is the first time it's being retro. Me personally, I've seen these around this particular colorway. And I've always been interested in them. Definitely an eye grabbing pair. They were rare and develop a somewhat of a small cult-like following. Like I said, first time being retro, these were size exclusive and released mid-June. I entered a raffle on size and I ended up winning. And, you know, it took about a good month for me to receive them, but, you know, it is what it is overseas. But, you know, I don't know if that's the excuse because I've ordered something else from them not too long ago and it came in like three days, but, you know. It's either here nor there. Now, without further ado, let's get into details of the shoe right here. Most of the shoe is red, yellow, and orange. The main thing that catches people is the, the gradient going from red to orange to yellow. That's like the most noticeable thing, you know, sort of like a sunrise type of effect. We can start at the toe. Got the red suede and, um, you know, suede is pretty, it's decent. Nothing to write home about, but it doesn't feel too cheap, you know? It's like a dark red, ruby red type color. Toe box, yellow, and it's a striking yellow. As you see, grab both. You know, it's a very eye-catching yellow, that red and yellow. It's a little bit of Hulkamania. You know, get some Hawkamania vibes. Red eyelets in that suede. Get a look at the tongue. Tongue is mesh, red mesh. You know, that classic Nike mesh tongue on a lot of the 80s runners, 70s runners. So it came with these red shoelace, which are, you know, thick, flat laces. There was no other shoelace options. Um, these aren't too bad, but these probably wouldn't look bad with the shoelace change as well. Take a look at the insole, plain white Nike. Move over to the side profile of the shoe. You know, that's where you can see, you know, everything. The yellow swoosh, the gradient. Get a look at the back, that red and yellow. Red suede, yellow, red Nike on the heel tab, inside of the shoe. Same as the outside, you get it more of that gradient, yellow swoosh, the whole look. Minsole, white, it's that classic Nike, 70s, 80s runner, all around white, pretty plain. Also black, sort of a, a waffle-like sole. Overall, the shoe is pretty light, it's a runner. And so is leather. You know, leather is synthetic, but you know, it's not too bad. You know what it is. Now for sizing, I stuck true to size in these and I went with the size nine, which is my go-to size in most Nikes, especially runners, which they seem to run narrower, narrower as these are. They are pretty narrow. So I suggest you guys go true to size and you should be good. As far as resale goes, um, I, well, when I checked, it was pretty modest. These were about, you know, 100, 110 pounds, something like that. So it's not too bad. The resale is still modest if you want to pick yourself up a pair. Now for my thoughts on these, of course I'm rocking with them, man. You know, if I got them, you know, if you, if you got a pair of these, you kind of went out your way to get a pair. You know, you didn't just stumble across them in a the store or on any site. So yeah. Of course, I'm rocking with them, man. Um, I just, you know, I, I personally like eccentric type kicks, kicks that, you know, stand out. You know, I have a lot of things like that outside of just plain, plain joints. But this is definitely a pair that's just classic. This is a pair that I could feel, I, this is a pair that I feel like I feel like I'm gonna just own this pair for a while. I can see myself rocking these as an old person, you know what I mean? But um, 
and I'm definitely glad with this pickup. And this is actually my first Nike review on the page. You know, I do wear Nikes. I am a Nike head as well. I'm just in this kicks, period. Of course, you know what I mean? I'm from, you know, Nike is the most popular. So of course, I got a bunch of Nikes and all that, but I just started off my channel doing other type of kicks, reviewing other, other sneakers than Nike. But overall, I think this is a good first Nike to do right here. I think this is a good pair to set the channel off, a good Nike. You know, I got a couple more Nike videos I want to do. A lot more, to be honest. But, you know, more to come. Now, let's jump into some on-feet looks real quick. But I want to know your thoughts on these, man. Um, do any do any of y'all out here got a pair? Like, let me know. There's hard. There's no videos on YouTube of these. Only like from sides themselves. Um, were any of you aware of these? Have any any of you ever seen these? You know what I mean? Are y'all like you know just not in tune, or this is your first time seeing them and you digging them? And I don't know what's your thoughts. Me. I'm fucking with them. Glad I picked them up. And yeah. I'm gonna do damage. <laughs> I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers. Peace.